Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today it's time for a mail call. I don't usually do mail call unboxing type videos, but I bought myself a bunch of stuff from Nicholas Smith for my birthday, which was last week. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got as soon as I can figure out how to get this box open. Uh, Nicholas Smith is my go-to hobby shop out in Broomall, Pennsylvania. Um, they have an online presence, so if you're looking to buy some new stuff for your layout right now, I would definitely go check them out. It's NicholasSmithsToysAndTrains.com, I believe. Otherwise, if you just Google search them, they'll come right up. Uh, they did not pay me to do that promotion. I just like them a lot. It's a good local hobby shop, and I'd like them to stick around for a little bit. So if you can consider supporting them, that would be great. So let's look at what I got. We have one Digitrax uh, DN163 decoder, which is going to go in that uh, GP40-2 that I have that had the faulty XL Systems decoder. Uh, you don't need to see my receipts. Um, so that's one thing. I'm going to get that up and running. I was supposed to be getting a... Uh, ESU Loc Pilot decoder from a separate vendor. Nicholas Smith doesn't um, deal in ESU products. But unfortunately, that's lost in the mail somewhere. That's supposed to go in my GP39-2, and I need to call the post office tomorrow because it was marked as delivered on Saturday, and we had other mail, including another package, come, but it didn't include that one. So I'm going to see if they have any insight on exactly where that package is. Next up, we have DPM kit here. We have Bruce's Bakery. Nice little kit I'm going to use. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but somewhere definitely downtown on the way out. We have, I think this is going to be the end of it. We have some cars. I don't normally buy most of my rolling stock brand new. I pick up a lot of it secondhand on eBay because it's a lot cheaper. But I had a gift card from a good friend of mine. So, I figured, what the heck, get some new stuff. I have Redding 55-ton hopper, uh, 802.55, which is one that I do not have. That's a fairly new release, I think. We have another Redding Extended Vision Caboose, number 90, uh, yeah, 94.111, which I'm probably going to buy at least one more of these at some point. Um, I'd like to have... You know, a couple more cabooses, and eventually um, I'm going to build a bigger layout in the new house. Let me try that again. I'm going to build a bigger layout in the new house, and I'm going to want probably, you know, six or eight cabooses at that point. But for this layout, I think four is a pretty solid number of cabooses. And lastly, we have P Atlas Penn Central Gondola. I'm not going to read that number to you, but that'll go with the uh, growing scrap metal gondola train that I have. So, happy about that purchase. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Hopefully some of this stuff will make an appearance in my layout update this coming weekend. Bye.